Hi, I'm Lance, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a LibGTX project for the very first time. Uh, we're going to be using a clean Windows environment, so nothing's been installed before. So I'll show you how to install Android Studio and then get your LibGTX project up and running. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is browse to the GTX website uh, as they have really good instructions on how to get set up. So let's uh, just do that. And then we're going to click on this, get started, set up a project, and set up a dev environment. It's the first thing we're going to do. Now, um, they actually recommend Android Studio, and that's what we'll be using in this demonstration. So let's go ahead and install Android Studio. And they very kindly provide a link to Android Studio. And we're going to download the latest version of Android Studio, which is Giraffe. So let's just accept the terms and conditions, which of course we read thoroughly. And now we're downloading. Okay, so that's been downloaded to our downloads folder. And we're going to install that now. So that's been completed and let's uh, start Android Studio. All right, so the first thing it's going to ask if there's any um, settings we want to import from maybe a previous install, which we don't want to do. So we're just going to go ahead and do not import settings. And uh, I won't send usage report statistics. Okay, let's carry on. We're going to do a standard install. Uh, way, let's go for the Dracula look, which actually is the default now. Let's accept terms and conditions. So we have to accept each um, section terms and conditions. I'll accept that one. And I assume we probably have to do the same for there. And now we can uh, finish. Okay. Now it's installing some components that's required. Depending on your um, internet speed, this will take a few minutes whilst it downloads everything it needs to get started. All right, everything's installed. It looks like we're ready to go. All right, we're gonna leave it there. And next we're going to um, set up our first libgtx project, uh, which we'll then open in Android Studio. Now, before we get started, we do need to check that you've got Java installed on your machine so you can actually run the setup tool. And we can test that by opening the, um, by opening the command prompt. And we're just gonna do java-version. All right, and in my case, uh, this is a brand new uh, Windows environment. I don't have it installed. So let's go ahead and install Java for those of you that uh, run into this problem. So first of all, we're going to uh, browse to this site, Adoptium, I think, and we're going to install the latest version. So let's wait for that to download. All right, that's now downloaded, and we're going to install this. So we need to make sure it does set the uh, home variable. Uh, so we're going to be installed on the local drive. And let's do next and install. All right. Now uh, let's test if that works. Now it doesn't show up. I had the command prompt open. Let's reopen the command prompt. And try that again. All right, now we have Java installed. Great. Okay, now that we've checked, we do have Java installed. Let's go ahead and download the uh, setup tool. It's very small, so it should download very quickly. And there we are, set up. Double click on that, and hopefully, because we've got our Java environment set up correctly, we should 
Just got to run this and there we are. Okay. So now we can set up our first libgdx project. So let's give it a name. I'm just going to call this uh, first project. Oops. And then for package name, I usually basically um, use the name of my stu studio. And then we're going to add first project at the end here. And then class name. We're going to use first project, but we're going to capitalize the second word. And our output folder, I'm going to, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to save it to our desktop. So I'm going to create a folder and call that oops, first project. Okay, and then we're going to browse to that. desktop first project okay and then we need to fill in this uh, path to the um, Android SDK and to do that we need to open our Android studio so let's go ahead and do that all right just move that there and we need to go down to more actions SDK manager and we just want to grab this path here which is the Android SDK location so we can cancel that and we can close that for now so let's put that in there all right that's all our settings set we're not going to change anything else on here and we're going to now let me just show you this as well And we're going to click generate. So we've got a question here. Um, you have a more of a recent version of Android build, build tools recommended. Do you want to use your more recent version? We're going to click yes for now. And then more recent Android API. We're going to click yes for that. Okay. And as you can see, it's now creating uh, the files that it needs. Let's let that continue. You know when it's finished, when it's got build successful. All right. So now it's created all the files that we need. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can open our first project in Android Studio. We can close down the tool and uh, we can close down this window here. So let's open Android Studio. And we're going to go here and open. And we're going to browse to our desktop folder. First project. And we can actually just click on the, uh, the top here where it's got first project to do that. And all being well, we now have our project open. All right, so we can't see much at the moment. So let's um, change this from Android to our project. And you see our first project. And now we have everything set up. Okay, we now want to test if this runs correctly. So we're going to run this as a desktop application. So we're going to go to edit configurations and we're going to run it as an application and we're going to give it the name of desktop and we go to this module box and we want desktop main and the desktop launcher and then the working directory is going to be this assets folder here so let's browse to it so that's in our project here so desktop first project assets we're going to apply that okay and let's run it and there you are your first libgdx project set up and running thank you